Yo, how's it going everybody and welcome back to this Mantine course series and in today's video we're going to be learning about how to work with navigation implementing our app shell routes with React Router and this is what we have for today in our app shell we can see that we have three links right here in the very first link we have our chips component we click on input we'll see our input component and you can see that it routes to slash input the final one is our title component and takes us to our text lorem ipsum that we worked on our last video without further ado Let's get into it. All right, so I've opened up the app and I'm inside of the app shell component. And the first thing that we have to do is we have to install React Router DOM onto our project. So the way to do that, it's going to be npm i react dash router dash dom, and let us work its magic. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and also import all of my dependencies that we need for this to work. So at the very top here, I'll do import curly braces browser as router link route and finally routes and this will be imported from react router dom perfect all right so now what we need to do is we need to contain our entire app shell in a router tag so to do that i'm just going to type in router like so and I'll take this end tag right here and I'll put it at the very bottom underneath my app shell end tag right there and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into my actual navbar link so this section right here with the example one two three and four and I'll just create a simple div tag and instead of that, I'll give it a little bit of styling where I'll just do display flex and I'll do flex direction To be column and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of these text right here since we don't need them and inside of here is where we're going to host our links to go between our separate components so what I'll do is I'll create a text tag like so and I'll give it a component which is going to be equivalent to link since the actual documentation for Mantine allows us to be able to um, connect with React Router DOM pretty easily with a text tag. So we can do component link and I'll do variant is equal to link and we want it to go to slash, just slash, just like that. Awesome. Whoops. And now inside of here, I'll just type in home page and I'll take this and I'll copy it two more times. Let's see how many components we have. We have three components, so three times is more than enough. And so we want the next, uh, our next page, which is going to be our input example page. So I'll just call that slash input, and I'll call it input page. And the final one is going to be titles and text. So I'll just call it title page, title page, like so. All right, now let's go ahead and actually direct our components to go to our certain uh, routes. So I'm going to go down here into my actual component area inside of my app shell. And what I'll do is I'll contain this in a routes. And each of these routes is going to contain an individual route, which will have a path equal to whatever our path was up, up, up over right here. So these three paths right here to slash input and slash um, title page. And so we also have to give it an element and that element, the first one will be our chips example. So I'll do chips example like so. And this will be a self-closing brace. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it two more times. And the next route is slash input. So I'll put in slash input. And after that is title page, same thing, title page. And I'll put in my slash inputs example and I'll put in my title page example like so. Let's get rid of this. And now if we test out the app, ah, uh, whoops, looks like we have a small issue right here. It says that module React router DOM has no exported member browser. I actually meant to type in browser router instead of browser. Perfect. And now if we go into the app, we should see that we have three different inputs right here. Our very first initial route is slash, which 100% works. So we have our 
chips being displayed right here. If I go to my input page, we see our inputs and it goes into that proper route. If I go to my title, we'll see our title page right here, our title component, as well as it going to its proper path as well. All right, well, that concludes this tutorial. It was a fairly quick one, but I just want to show you guys how to actually implement React Router DOM with your app shell links inside of the navbar to actually display the proper components, take it to the proper path. And if this video helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.